summer trial is a three day event. We cover 400 miles over all the days. 12 regularities, eight tests. So lots of time for all the navigators to muck something up. We're going all around the Peak District, Derbyshire area. If you uh, have a look at some of the cars, they're just out of this world. It usually has a gentle start that helps a bit, helps you remember how to do it. So it's usually very nice. We did one in 2014, we did the 1,000 mile trial. Haven't stopped talking about it for the last four years. <laughs> Is the TR already? Oh look, it's on the button. The boys said it's a, a bit of a racing machine, so I've got to live up to its potential. The value of the tests is another job coming up at the end of the year, so it's local and it's a good shakedown. And such a good organisation here. They're amazing, their organisation. Love the events. Should be good fun. Just got to keep on it, make sure everything goes right and hope for the best. Isn't it such fun? I'm so lucky. It puffs running like a little dream. Fingers crossed, of course. I'll keep her on the straight and narrow. How many people in this room have never ever done an event before? <laughs> and you'll see as you go through the event, it gets slightly harder day by day. Okay, if you haven't already, I would go through the book, especially for today, and highlight the speed changes when they happen, the turns and short distances. We're doing three regularities this afternoon and two tests. Break of the last one. Yeah. Just one second across the two controls, so yeah, it's pretty good. Pleased at that. Towards the end of the regularity, so it was just before the last control point, and there was about what seemed to be an endless supply of dairy cows crossing the road. We just had to wait until they were they'd gone past. So there's no point in catching up the time because we'd still been eight minutes late or whatever. But it was fortunate it was just our class, I think. Maybe they were on a joker as well. We didn't get stopped by the cows. No. The first regularity though was quite messed up. We messed up the distance, trip meter, timing, and we don't know how many seconds we dropped, but it's in the double digits somewhere. Don't, don't forget today is gentle. Yeah. Tomorrow yes, top no. Well, that's what we've said now. Joker's played today, that's it. Nothing now. He's no got, pressure. He's got no pressure. No pressure. When we missed the turning, we, we quickly tried to do a, a, a three point turn um, up into the bank a bit where there was a great big rock. Fortunately, it's damaged the mounting, not the not, not the exhaust itself. But these good chaps look like they're going to fix it. But this is our, our first regularity. Now, two ambitions. One was for the car to get through it intact, and the other was not to come last. And at the moment, it looks like we're going to fail on both guns. Three, two, one, go! 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 Mine's the first of all, tell us how was your first day? It kind of switched between stressful and fun. 
over and over again throughout the day, but uh, yeah, it was really good Rapid overall, I think. Time. I think our main problem was we missed all the time controls because we thought the guy was just waving at us. Yeah. So we just waved back and kept going and then saw the car behind us stop. Yeah, because we had a car just in front of us that just kept going, so we yeah. thought, oh, he must know what he's doing, and we just <laughs> followed him. He's extremely demanding up here, actually. Well, not for you, because I, I'm doing the navigating, he's driving, so... She's always been the intellectual one, hasn't she? You've got to make up the time. And... No, you're not meant to make up the time. Oh, yeah, exactly. I don't, we don't know what we're doing, really. We're having fun. We're having, a, we're having a load of fun and getting round, that's the main thing. We've had a few uh, little hiccups along the way. However, that's to be expected for a car of this age. It's uh, 50 years old. But it looks like driving in luxury. Definitely. Um, I've got my, my husband, he wanted to change our seats to sports seats, but I, I've refused. I've, I've put my foot down and I've said no, I prefer to drive on a sofa. But you're going to put your foot down today? Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. I aim to win. Thank you. lost today uh, lost quite badly actually she told me. <laughs> yeah I wasn't listening to my husband because I thought uh, it was the other way because I got mixed up from looking at them before but then you sorted it out yeah we did <laughs> certainly sorted it out in the cockpit as well <laughs> <laughs> Challenges today. A few cows on the road yesterday, but we're still we're still fighting, and uh, everyone's smiling, which is great. Are you pleased with the amount of newbies that are here on their very first run? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's what the event's all about: trying to get people engaged in the sport and develop the sport. You know, and it's great to see new people coming in. The event is, you know, middle of summer and nice roads, nice driving roads, and that I think has brought out a nice selection of cars. You know. It's absolutely fantastic to see um, the locals out supporting us, lots of waves and beautiful, beautiful countryside. I'm going to come back again to really enjoy it. Really good, re yeah, the regularities today, we really enjoyed that, some, some cracking lanes up there, that, that was fantastic. Really enjoying it so far, so it's been really pleasant. Bowie, well, how's his navigation? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we're working yeah. well together. We haven't made many mistakes today, have we? How's the combination going with you and Roger? It's good, yeah. My good driving is bad navigating. We work together as a team. <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. How's Thomas doing? He's doing very well. Surprising. Uh, his mother has probably lost her seat in the car now. It's still hard, it's still a big learning curve, but I, I think I'm being able to anticipate a little bit more what's, what's coming up. So 
Um, you know, even if you're going 15 miles an hour, you know there's a junction coming up, you've got to take that into account. So I think it's, that's what I've learned today, I think. I don't think we had a single wrong slot all day. I mean, she, she, she really is doing absolutely fantastic. She's really nailed the navigation. And she even told me to speed up twice today. So that's, that's a bit of a first. <laughs> I said, get a move on. <laughs> I mean, the whole event is a nice relaxed affair. It's a nice social occasion, really, for most people. So, it's... yeah, I mean, the, the pressure's off. You put on yourself whatever pressure you want to put on, uh, but the actual the route is good. Five timing points on some of them, you know, so it's really to get your teeth into. It keeps you awake. I think the master's class is actually a good idea because you've got to encourage people to come into the sport anyway. But it's nice to actually uh, have some competition amongst ourselves. At last we have made it to the end of Saturday. The car didn't let us down this time, so really, really glad that we're still here. Yeah, had a really great Saturday out, out in Derbyshire and other counties that we might have visited as well, but the car's working beautifully and yeah, finally we can start to lay those memories of last year's engine blow up to rest. Somebody's changed the name on the side of the car. It says squeaky, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know, uh, I'm never known to be squeaky. I'm calm, collected 100% of the time. Ask Martin Taylor, he'll explain. <laughs> I sort of had to come up with some way just to uh, get a bit of revenge on her. So uh, I asked her father what, what, what one of her favourite nicknames was and squeaky came up. So I got an appropriate sticker made and slapped it on the car. And it will live forevermore. But she didn't notice for 24 hours, so that's the best thing about it. Perhaps she can tell us about a bit of a war going on between rival navigators. <laughs> oh, God, they're at it all the time. It's like this, I've beat you on this one, I've beat you on that one. Day three is going to be a good day, some lovely scenery, some interesting regularities. We've, we've been saving some of our tricks towards the end of the event. Some uh, more challenging uh, navigation and um, location of controls on, on, the, on the last day. What can we do on the final day? Just go the right way, the right route, and then everything else will just fall in place. Of course we will. It's a navigator. They win, not the drivers. Three, two, one, go! The Derbyshire countryside is absolutely stunning and we've had a, a really good selection of roads. There's been some sort of fast uh, uh, sweeping stuff, some lots of ups and downs and through the, uh, the dales themselves it's been uh, it's spectacular and for uh, 1933 uh, you know it's not Mr Beat so uh, you know we've had a great time. Hey. 
Are you alright? I'm oh, very well, thank you. <laughs> Having a lovely time. There we go. Given the choice between British Grand Prix or Summer Trial, there is no choice. We've had, genuinely had a fantastic time, really great fun, great roads, great organisation and, and great company and we did it last year and it's certainly uh, improved yet again. It was good last year and it's even better this year. We had a lot of bulking today, general public, horses, bicycles, all sorts of things just slowed us down on the regularities. We missed one slot and then got bulked trying to get back up to time so we didn't really have a chance so we dropped a minute there. Otherwise it's been a great day. but. You know, these things just happen. Everyone tells you the day before, oh, you're second, keep it up there. You know, you think, no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> there didn't seem to be so many cyclists as there were last year, so I can't blame them. More horses. So, <laughs> I can't blame the cows anymore here, so it's back to me. <laughs> Moron. <laughs>